So I'm at the airport now. Um, didn't take too long to get here. I was like, okay, on time and everything. One of the security guys almost made me cry because he was saying something in Russian and I told him multiple times that I didn't understand. And then he like had an attitude and he, I could tell in Russian, he goes, oh, so you don't speak Russian. You're working at an international airport. And then he just said what he said in English. And I was like, oh, okay. But I almost cried because, you know, high stress situation. I'm just waiting for some videos to download. So I have something to watch on the plane. It's only like half an hour and a half flight. Talk to you soon. B&B in St. Petersburg. Um, I guess as far as like, you know, traveling goes and like whatever, it wasn't like difficult to get here. It wasn't a horrible flight. It was only, it was like an hour and a half. I watched like two videos on YouTube and they were like, oh, you have to take your headphones out now. We're landing. I'm like, so far my first impression is that everything is not quite as accessible here as it is in Moscow. So I had to take a bus, a bus to a metro station but like where the bus let you off wasn't exactly where the metro station was so i was like lost i was like going around the block i'm like where is this but i did find it eventually maybe a 20 minute subway ride like i had a bunch of i only transferred one time but i sat through a bunch of stops um and then it was kind of like a long walk from the closest uh subway station to the bnb um let me show you what the bnb looks like okay so here's the door where you come in that's me hi that's my suitcase just gonna cover up my information on my suitcase and then here is all of the kitchen stuff there's a microwave and a fridge but there's nothing to like cook or anything not that i do that when i'm in bnbs but still so we have a sink i put my towels up here and everything um and then right here it's quite a tight space is just the bathroom here's a little shower we got going on there's me again. Here's a heated towel rack, which is so cool. And then you come out here and this is the room. So here's all my stuff. I'm already, you know, making everything all dirty. So I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Um, and it is still quite early. Oh, that's at 8 p.m. It's not 8 p.m. That's still China time. It's 3 p.m. Yeah, so I'm gonna go out in a little while and, um, you know, check out what's around, see what's around the b and I'm not doing any sightseeing or anything today. That can all, you know, it's too late for that. Good morning, guys. It is October 1st, so happy October. It's a very gloomy, rainy day in St. Petersburg. Looks like it's gonna be that way pretty much the rest of the time I'm here. In about an hour and a half, I booked a tour of, I don't know if you say the Hermitage or the Hermitage Museum, I don't know. Uh, it takes about half an hour, it says, to walk there from where I am. And like I said, the tour starts in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna leave now um, and just give myself an hour of leeway because that's who I am as a person. to meet my guide there but I still have like an hour so I'm just gonna try and take some pictures you know look cute in my little scarf look that I got going on because every time I open my umbrella it like wants to go inside out because it's super windy can I live there that's my that's the color I want my house to be
So I just finished my tour. It's quite late, it's like two in the afternoon. It turned out I was the only one that booked the time, like that time for the tour. It was like a private tour. The guide told me that if you spend one minute looking at each piece of artwork in this museum, it would take you seven years to get through it all. I'm just gonna keep looking by myself for a little bit. And then I have a ticket that gets me into the other building to see like the Impressionist and um, some stuff like that. So I'll do that afterwards. For real y'all, it took me like an hour to find my way out of the museum. I just kept walking around in circles. Finally, I asked somebody. It turns out that because I had the like online voucher, I had to go through a special exit that wasn't like marked with the regular exit. So that's why I kept missing it. But right side, literally. It's quite a big change in the weather since I was in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quickly look at the exhibition over there and I don't know, I guess find something to eat. Uh, maybe take some more pictures, we'll see. that was there right now was there was a lot of like Picasso and Gauguin and Matisse and Cezanne I don't know Pizarro like I said don't at me everyone's entitled to like what they like okay for me personally I prefer what was in the other part of the museum which is more like along the lines of like Caravaggio and Diego Velasquez and Peter Paul Rubens, artists like that. And I think, honestly, that, excuse you, that shows probably in my own work. Not trying to sound snobby, if you know anything about art. If you know anything about like those types of art or those styles, then you could probably see why I lean more towards that than the other way. 